Well, Joe Biden has just lost his ever-loving mind. We've already speculated, or many of us believe, that Joe Biden has a couple of screws loose in his head. Well, now it is being reported on Axios, of all places, that people in the White House uh, are getting, well, really traumatized by some of the things that Biden is saying to them, so much so that no one is safe around the president of the United States. I've got so much to show you in today's broadcast, and I haven't really heard a lot of people talking about it. But as a quick reminder, you got to sign up, get to RestrictedRepublic.com. We are being censored into oblivion, and there's only so much I can put out here on YouTube. So that's why you need to run on over to RestrictedRepublic.com. We do live streams. I have content there that I'm not posting anywhere else. Use the coupon code LISA and the number five to get it for $5 per month. Month. All right, so let's dive into psychotic Mr. Biden and what the hell is going on in the White House. We'll take a look at this Axios report, and this is titled Old Yeller, Biden's Private Fury, and this was posted just today. It goes on to state, in public, President Biden likes to whisper to make a point, but in private, he is prone to yelling. Behind closed doors, Biden has such a quick trigger temper that some aides try to avoid meeting alone with him. Some take a colleague almost as a shield against a solo blast. The president's admonitions include God, D word, how the F don't you know this? Don't F and BS me and get the F out of here. According to current and former Biden aides who have witnessed and been on the receiving end of such outbursts. These are the things that Joe Biden is literally saying to staffers, people in his organizations, and to you. I mean, he's using God's name in, in vain. He's saying the F word. He's saying, get the F out of here. You don't know how to do this. These kinds of things, all with these F kind of slangs. But it goes on to expand a little more on some of the stuff he's saying. And it says that both senior and lower level aides alike can be in Biden. Biden's line of fire. No one is safe, said one administration official. It also goes on to state that there's no question that the Biden temper is for real. It may not be as volcanic, they say, as Bill Clinton's, but it is definitely there, said Chris Whipple, author of The Fight of His Life Inside Joe Biden's White House. Now, Biden's temper comes in the form of angry interrogations rather than erratic tantrums. So this is literally what they are de detailing about the current president of the United States of America. So in other words, he, he he's having these um, angry interrogations and, and back and forth with a lot of people. He's grilling people on topics they may or may not have an answer to. Uh, and he's telling people, get the, get the F out of here. And people are not feeling safe around him. And this is what his aides and people surrounded by him are saying. I can only imagine, by the way, um, what they're saying about his mental capacity. I would love to hear that side of it because I think he has two sides, you know? If you take like, you know, elderly patients, uh, say if you if you take a dementia patient or something like that, or um, somebody who has Alzheimer's and these kinds of issues, they can have those outbursts of anger and they can have those times where they just don't know what's going on. So I wonder, I mean, maybe a doctor should look into some of that, especially considering his age. But what's also interesting is Biden is completely ignoring one of his granddaughters, right? And this is the top it all off. This is on NewYorkPost.com. Biden is accused of scarring Hunter's estranged four-year-old daughter and scathing New York Times op-ed. So what's going on there is basic, basically Biden is ignoring his own flesh and blood. Well, you know, my son doesn't look so much at you, therefore I won't either. Let's just leave her estranged. And when that's normally, normally a good person would at least pay attention, especially someone who's the president of the United States, but I digress. Either way, I thought this was a good report to bring to you guys because, well, we all know there's a lot of questionable things going on with Joe Biden, and this is definitely one of them. Anyhow, I love you all. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.